These are the round that we picked out when we were looking through the list uh, last night of who we had on stage here in Veldhoven this afternoon. And uh, I think we're all going to enjoy this one. Yes, we certainly are. Two of the most prolific scorers in the game. And the speed of their throw is going to make this exciting. They're going to feed off of each other's pace and adrenaline. Um, as, as we talked about pace before, it's going to suit both players absolutely perfect. Uh, so I'm expecting, you know, a real good game. Well, as we say, we expect a real good game. They're both hit bullseyes. Um, I'd, if, if you were going to put me on the line, I think I'd have to go with 80. So I think he's just a little bit more consistent. Certainly on the bullseyes. Uh, than Chizzy. <laughs> But um, Chizzy, if he, if he starts hitting this treble 20, he's going to be hard to beat. But um, 80, he's got all the firepower to do so. Yes, Adrian Lewis seeing off his namesake, Jamie Lewis, last night, hitting a 1 2 4 checkout to win that, 6 3. And uh, he did just have a little wobble in the middle of the game. Um, Lewis took out, uh, Jamie Lewis that is, took out an incredible one six seven checkout to go 3-2 up. But then uh, Lewis did steady the ship again uh, to win 6-3. Dave Chisner, meanwhile, he beat the pie man, Andy Smith, 6-2. Just averaging 89.8 in that match. So he knows he needs to, uh, he'll need to step that up as today progresses if he is to get through to the latter stages of the tournament tonight. Well, that's a bad visit from Aidy. So, although Chisnell lost the, the bullseye, he's got the three darts. And he mixed a treble with the last one. So, Aidy may get nine darts from 277. Well, advantage Dave Chisnell in this first leg. And a place in the quarterfinals up for grabs. Yes, a good solid start. Potential 14 data then to kick off this match from the man from St. Helens. Double tops he wants. That's a mile away. And that's overcompensated too far the other way. So 117 a chance for Lewis to hold his throw. Won't happen now. And uh, Chisnell back then for double 10. Yes, Mike, those two darts were a long way away for the talent of Dave Chisnell. What can he do with this double ten? Well, that's a little bit better of a card. Just moving to the left to get the flight out of his vision. Well, oh, one dart left and another. I mean, you know, we talk about players that have double trouble and they don't like us talking about it, but the fact is, you know, Dave misses too many darts at a double. Well, the, the lie of that first one, I think, was awkward for AD and, well... Both of them just finding uh, difficulty hitting the double early on in this game. Chizzy then for an early break of throw, wanting double five. Two good markers if he can slide the third one in there, which he does. He got there in the end. A 21 dart leg. Yes, and his 14th dart was at the double. <laughs> He's lucky to get away with missing that many darts at a double, but they both had a, a very indifferent start to the match. Ladies first darts, just dropping low on the treble. Just needs a little bit of extra power in the arm, just to get it in the treble or just above. Both players were unbeaten in the opening two uh, weeks of the Premier League. Two wins out of two for Adrian. A win and a draw for Dave Chisnell. As Adrian bangs in his first maximum of this match. And his fourth of the tournament. Oh, that's a bad visit from AD. That's given... Dave Chisnell, six darts from 186. And that certainly is going to help the cause of Dave Chisnell. All Aidy can do is try and set it up, put some pressure on. Chisnell's going to get two darts at a double. Interesting, Mike, 12 double top or 20 double 16. He's been missing the tops. 
Well, he was going 16 for the 36. That's 48 scored. Well, it's double two now. And that's an unbelievable miss to hit the treble 16 from there. Well, a chance then for AD. He wants double top now. 14, David Ross. And both these players, again, just uh, taking a while to find their range on the doubles here on the big stage in Veldhoven. Chizzy does it that time for a 2-0 lead then. Yes, I was saying, hit the treble 16 from there, Mike, is a, is a bad mistake. As A.D. Lewis puts in his second maximum, it's a, it's a silly dart. I know that they don't mean to, but there's little errors like that that could have cost him the leg. He's nearly pitching the dart <laughs> over Paul's head there as he was just, just checking the score. It happens now and again. And uh, as Paul was leaning forward, I, I, he was pitching the dart over his head. It was... Uh, it's nearly, um, nearly got a nose piercing there, uh, Paul. He wasn't careful. Well, Aidy went for two double tops there, but he's going to come back with three clear at, uh, at that double top to get himself back in this leg. That's better than for Lewis. No messing that time on the double. Gets a leg on the board. That's uh, Chisnell here on fire at the start of leg number four. Just an unfortunate drift in that last start. Well, he missed the 180 with his first visit. Doesn't make the same mistake with his second. And that's 180s back to back. And this is what we expect from these two players. Power scoring. And at the moment, it's Dave Chisnell with that all-important break of throw to his name. And he's looking at an 11 dart leg is Chisnell. 25 perhaps. Oh, well, he stayed on there. Bricks to the treble 20 and it's worked out. So 16. He doesn't want to hit that treble 16 again. Double top. Well, that was a chance. A great chance to go 3 1 up. AD needs double top now to bring us all square at 2 2. Well, they've found the range with the big scoring, but the double still pro providing, uh, proving to be uh, a bit difficult. And there is Chizzy then with double five for a 3 1 lead. Well, they're both power scorers, but at the moment, Chizzy just edging the scoring side of the match and it's given him those extra darts at a double which are paying off Lewis just getting the odd dart at double top and two in the previous leg but thereafter Chisnell's already had darts at a double both players only reached the second round stage here last year Adrian beaten by Andy Hamilton 6-4 Chizzy beaten by David Pallet 6-3 Adrian did enjoy some success in Europe, winning the European Championships in July. Also had a Players' Championship win in Dublin and reached the finals of both the Masters in Edinburgh and the, the match play. And uh, Chizzy as well. 
success in Europe, winning the German Masters at Hildesheim. But uh, Lewis, with the advantage in this show, look to set up a decent finish when he comes back. Maybe not as good as he would have uh, hoped, but it is a two darter with Chizzy still trailing here and unable to find a big treble to put any pressure on the shot. Well, 58 required, big 18, double top. No. Sorry, I was miscounting there. 48 he required. Good thing A.D. Lewis has not listened to me. It's out of, a bit, out of a bit of practice, not played for a while, Mike. <laughs> I think that's what that's called. So, that double top. I was going to say, still eluding Adrian Lewis, but he did get there in the end. And you feel that we are now really getting into the meat and potatoes of the game. We expected it to be a tight affair. And so it's proving. Oh, Chisnell gone off the boil a little bit. Opens the door up and again that first start. And it has been an awful lot, the first start low on the treble 20 for AD. He's been finding the treble after that first start, but you know, nothing like getting the first start absolutely perfect. But he's got the throw, so a chance here to get the break back and get the advantage in the game. And there again, just dropping low of the treble 20, causing him to go for cover and then low on the treble 19 as well. sets it up perfectly to level a game up at three apiece all Chester can do is well, he's going to put some pressure on an awful lot of pressure so double top for 80 he doesn't want to be low on this like he has been on the treble well, certainly that's not low well a gift for Chisnell to re-establish that two-leg advantage over the two times world champion. He wants double top. Well, a massive leg that. Lewis having loads of darts at double top. Chizzy enabling him to nick the leg and take a two-leg advantage in the match. Quarter final up for grabs. We start at seven o'clock tonight, six o'clock British time. Here on YouTube, pdc.tv, from wherever you are. Yes, the next match up, Mervyn King, who was in fantastic form, whitewashing Dimitri Vandenberg yesterday with 103.6 average, taking on the man known as the Undertaker. That's because he's a big WWF wrestling fan, Kevin Thomas. He saw off Wayne Jones and uh, Steve Beaton yesterday to set up this third round clash with Mervyn King. As a ton 80 comes flying in. Lady getting a bit frustrated on these doubles now. It was Chisel in the early part of the match that was missing them. Uh, treble 20. Well, he'll stay on the treble 20. He won't go double top, double tops. It was a good guy. Double 10. And he punishes AD again for the second leg on the trot. And takes a 5-2 lead. And yes, certainly. Dave Chisnell with one foot in the quarterfinals now. And a lot of work to do for Adrian Lewis if he's to claw his way back. Lewis just ruining 
that double trouble that he suffered in this match. Well, there we have it. 15% on doubles for Lewis and only 28% on Chisnell. And uh, when you talk at the qualities on that stage, certainly the quality's gone missing on their checkouts. That uh, sets up 1 2 1 for a potential 12 data for Chisnell for the match then. He wants the bullseye for a 1 2 1. He didn't bother going for it because Adrian was back on 201. There was no chance he was going to go for that, Mike. This match is too important for Chisnell. Oh, three clear darts at double top. And it will be for a convincing win over Adrian Lewis. Both players didn't score at the top of their game. And certainly their doubles have got a miss for a lot part of the game. But it is Chisnell that gets over the line and beats A.D. Lewis. And he'll be in the quarterfinals this evening. Well, coming up, Kevin Thomas, the undertaker, takes on the king. Mervyn King and that comes up very short.